No great discovery was ever made without a bold guess. If I have seen further it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. I can calculate the motion of heavenly bodies but not the madness of people. Men build too many walls and not enough bridges. Tact is the knack of making a point without making an enemy. Nature is pleased with simplicity. And nature is no dummy. What we know is a drop, what we don't know is an ocean. Gravity explains the motions of the planets, but it cannot explain who sets the planets in motion. Truth is ever to be found in the simplicity, and not in the multiplicity and confusion of things. And to every action there is always an equal and opposite or contrary reaction. This most beautiful system of the sun, planets, and comets could only proceed from the counsel and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being. A man may imagine things that are false, but he can only understand things that are true. What goes up must come down. If I have ever made any valuable discoveries, it has been due more to patient attention than to any other talent. You have to make the rules, not follow them. He who thinks half-heartedly will not believe in God, but he who really thinks has to believe in God. Live your life as an exclamation rather than an explanation. Sir Isaac Newton was asked how he discovered the law of gravity. He replied, by thinking about it all the time. To myself I am only a child playing on the beach, while vast oceans of truth lie undiscovered before me. If I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. Yet one thing secures us whatever betide, the scriptures assures us that the Lord will provide. To explain all nature is too difficult a task for any one man or even for any one age.
Whence arises all that order and beauty we see in the world? Plato is my friend, Aristotle is my friend, but my greatest friend is truth. I have studied these things. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. For I see not what there is desirable in public esteem, were I able to acquire and maintain it. It would perhaps increase my acquaintance, the thing which I chiefly study to decline. Tis much better to do a little with certainty and leave the rest for others that come after than to explain all things by conjecture without making sure of anything. A man may imagine things that are false, but he can only understand things that are true, for if the things be false, the apprehension of them is not understanding. If I have done great things it's because I was standing in the closet of smart men taking notes and then publishing their ideas as my own.